Stashes are small hidden caches that can be used to store smaller amounts of loot in a reasonably discreet way. And unlike bases, this is something that can be done from a beginner level to a much higher one. And here, I'll be breaking it down like somebody challenged me to a dance off. If you liked the video, please leave a like or a subscribe, it really helps me out. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Well. Thank god I buried my stash so nobody will find it. Firstly, the benefits of using a stash. The obvious one is the fact that it's hidden storage. Stash is often a way for players to store items and supplies in a hidden location, reducing the risk of losing them in case of death or theft. Next is speed. They can be constructed really quickly and with minimal effort. This makes them a great option for emergency storage. Whether you're preparing one before a fight, during a fight, or in that awkward period after a fight where you just lying in bed next to each other waiting for the other person to speak first. Then we have the fact that you can just create multiple stashes in multiple locations, allowing you to have backup supplies scattered throughout the map so even if you lose one, you can potentially have more so you're never really putting all your unfertilized eggs in one basket. They can also be used in conjunction with bases to provide additional storage and backup options, which is particularly useful when you're trying to build one and keep certain supplies. But unlike bases, stashes do not require any maintenance due to raids or upkeep, such as finding storage units, meaning you can bury them and forget about them like that one pet you swear went to the farm. And the last benefit before the negatives is the fact that if a server wipe happens, though rare, it's way less damaging, whereas if you spent a hundred hours building a base and somebody announces an impending server wipe, you may need to memorize a phone number for a certain prevention hotline. But despite the many benefits, there are also some drawbacks, one of which is its vulnerability. Even though stashes can be hidden, they are still vulnerable to discovery and theft by other players with very minimal effort. Unlike bases which take plans, bombs, a team sometimes and so on and so forth. And it doesn't always matter how well they're hidden, they can be easily discovered by other players, sometimes even by accident, meaning you'll lose your supply quicker than a drug mule farting at an airport. Another drawback is the fact that they are quite limited with what you can store. So players must choose carefully with what they want to store in them. They're usually okay for a single loadout or two, but capacity wise, they just aren't up there with bases. Next is the fact that sometimes they can be hard for even you to find. Stashes can be difficult to find even for players who created them, which can lead to frustration and wasted time. This sounds stupid, but it happens more than you think. And yes, I am speaking from experience. Additionally, if you're a duo, it's very difficult to maintain the amount of supplies you need in stashes. Yes, you can create a lot of them, as I said in the benefits, but you'll never be able to raid a base and then store everything you've raided from that base using only stashes. That being said, just for the simple fact that when you die, you don't start with nothing, stashes can be an excellent way to move forward. They can help you do better by using the lives you did well to skip ahead in the lives you didn't. But for way more content, all you have to do is click here, and for something else, click here. And as always, until next time.